Hi, my name is Amy Saka, and I am a documentary photographer. And I'm Florian Waller. I'm also a documentary photographer. And we're here to talk about an exhibition called Last Ice. And my small portion in Last Ice called Riverfront Frishing, a Detroit tradition. I approach most of the work I do by looking at questions. In this particular case, I was thinking about my dad. My entire life, he's ice fished, sort of this mysterious place that he would go to. But as I got older, I just had a desire to connect with him in his space. And I thought, why don't I go out on the ice with him? I didn't really have any grand ambition about the project. I really just wanted to see what he was seeing. And as I was out there, and I saw that there is a whole community of people out there who really enjoy our Michigan icy landscapes, and um, I just wanted to explore that community. Um, a lot of my work and, and what inspires it and how I approach it, I think, stems from, in large part, um, the fact that I'm a middle child. <laughs> I'm very much a peacemaker and all about making other people feel comfortable. And with that, I went to college and I studied sociology because I just have always had this um, real interest in people and fairness and justice. And I think that's what um, interests me most. Like I, I always try to kind of flesh it out from a sociological perspective. And I think in turn, that helps me focus on what I want to actually photograph. When I got the inspiration from Amy's project, Last Ice, I was like, okay, but what would that look like in Detroit? Um, and I think Riverfront Fishing was the answer to that. The regular dude that goes to a bait shop, you know, um, gets a bucket on a Saturday morning and goes down to the riverfront, whether that's Belle Isle or somewhere on the east side, West Jefferson Riverfront, and it's just a good time. It's, people bring barbecue uh, pits, <laughs> they bring food, they turn it into a thing. Um, and so I, I just really wanted to celebrate that and explore that um, through images. This is a world-class museum here, and what really heartened me is that People were open to this idea that I proposed. And all along the way, the people at the Dawson Museum have helped me bring my vision to life from including my writing, from offering me a room within the museum, from partnering with another museum in Caseville to bring their artifacts in. I've just been so pleased at the way things have come together. I think that Institutions that can have an open mind about ideas and partner and work with the artist and support them, you'd see a world of creative ideas. What would help would be openness. From that, you can create more points of accessibility. A lot of creative people, like for example, we're both self-taught, like we didn't go to school for this. Um, and if these are the images, a self-taught person, to create with intention and practice and dedication. Um, I'm sure that there's many other people out there who if given the opportunity could do some amazing work and could show that work and share it with other people and inspire them and so on and so forth. Something like that would be transformative for, for an artist like me, you know? I guess in large part just being open-minded and creating points of accessibility. I would love for people to sense the beauty that's around us and the culture that comes to life around the ice. You can find beauty in the mundane and that people that are from Detroit, regular people, are worthy of being on the wall. Even the simplest things are worth photographing. Um, that's definitely what this taught me because I, you know, I didn't really go out there with like too high hopes or expectations when I started taking these images. But now to see them on the wall, I'm like, why would you not take a photo of that? I hope that people restructure what um, things they see beauty in. It brings people out, the ice brings people out. And 
coupled with the fact that the ice is diminishing, I want people to see that it's something that we could possibly lose in the future. It's a part of the legacy and the culture of small town Michigan. And there are beautiful ways that people can come out in the cold and feel a togetherness. And so I want people to understand the fact that those stunning landscapes might not be appearing <laughs> so much in the future. So get out there while you can and look around you.